Hey Toppies, take you on a bit of a different one today, a walk and talk. But I've got you in the sea here. Look. Really beautiful. Nice and clear for a UK sea. Right, so we'll do one of our walk and talks. And it won't be long. But I'll just drop a few points. First of all, I want to say we're going live tonight. Three board members have had to leave. Denise, Sharpie, and Ian have had to leave, all three. And I'm happy about that. But I do feel the main thing is that Bill has to go as well. Let's get some beer here. Let's get in the seat. Let's get out. Come on. Look at that. Look how clear it is. Yeah, but I do feel check for any sharks. I do feel that Bill's got to go as well because I think that if you're going to do something, you've got to do it properly. A lot of word that's gone around is start from the top and then sort everything out all the way through. And I think if you keep messing around with the board and leaving Bill there and leaving Moshiri there, they're going to end up making the board members do the same thing. They'll always have that dictation. They will. And the board can't do the jobs properly. You need a complete fresh start. You're not going to get new things with the same thing. They've been there a long time and they've had more than enough chances. Bill, Denise and all the others to show what they can do and get us out of trouble. And they haven't. And for two seasons, Everton have been in a massive mess. So what I want to say is... I do think Bill has got to go. I mean, I'm out now, daytime. I don't know if I'll get back and Bill's gone. I don't know. But this, leave Bill on the board, it's okay. You need one on the board. It makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Why we have finally, the fans have got in a situation where it looks like stuff's going to happen and we've got movement. Bill needs to go. He really does need to go. Because he's frustrating. He really is frustrating. And what scares me is... Bit of up there. What scares me is that Bill can't get in that seat. They've all had to stay away out of the seats. And then all of a sudden, Bill Kenwright's got this plan, get rid of them three. Him come out and say, oh, Mashiri says he wants to keep me, so I've got to be there. I, I offered to leave. And all of a sudden he sits in his seat and he thinks the fans will accept it. And then he says he's gonna go and it gets longer and longer and he doesn't go and then he starts worming his way back in once he's got his seat. So that, that's my opinion. I generally feel that that beautiful. Let's get out of the seat first. Yeah. Now I generally feel Bill's got to go and I'm hoping for that news as well because then it's a complete fresh start. And then I do believe that if, this is the problem. You get rid of Denise, you get rid of Ian, you get rid of Sharpie and Bill's still there. He'll still tell them what he wants to do. He'll still have a say and they won't feel like when, it's like when you've got a boss, when he's there, you can't do his job properly because you feel like he's always watching. That's what Bill will be like. So let's, let the arts get deep here. So let's, let's get Bill gone. I feel like that's gotta be done. Then we can have a complete fresh start. Someone comes in, Bill's role and smashes it. And then the new people on the board as well can work with him to smash it. And then Mashiri can sit back. But fact is, if you leave Mashiri and Bill there, you're in trouble. I still think if you leave Mashiri in there, it's a big problem. But we can't get rid of Mashiri yet because of this new stadium, Malark. I think he will go. So I think you've got to get rid of everything you can. So luckily the three have gone. We've got that news. And I also think you've then got to get rid of Bill. And then Mashiri's got to be on the waiting list. That's, that's the way it's got to be. And if they don't do that, we've got to push hard. I, wouldn't, I will celebrate the free going because I think it's movement, but until Bill's gone, it won't be a full celebration. So I will be going live tonight on the channel. I'll have Paul with me, um, always do, and it's, it's his channel and mine. And then I'll have Jamie on. A few can't come on because it's Wednesday, but I will get as many as I can on. And if you want to come on, then just message me on Twitter. Let me know. I just need your phone and I'll send you a link and get on and just be civilised. But yeah, this Bluecast channel is amazing. I'll take you on some nice walk and talks. A bit different here. But I'll take you some nice places with me. And uh, I'm having a wonderful day today. I've got the uh, partner there. I've got Eliana all the way back down there. You can hear her. I'm just de-stressing because I think we all need it after that 
stressful Everton season. I know people will say, bloody old football, you let it get to that much. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I went to that Bournemouth game. Yes, I felt sick all the way. Yes, I cheered them on and felt sick the whole game. But after that game, it took me about three, four days to get back right because it stresses you out. It's your club. You love them and you embed into it and you literally go for every emotion. So I'm saying everyone de-stress. But, but one thing I will say, some say, oh, this is why I'm back. Can't take your foot off the gas. Can't just let the pre-season go, like all these games go and the break go and let nothing happen. Luckily, stuff's happening already and we need to sort out this club because you can't be in all this mess that we're in, two relegation battles, and just forget about it. We've got to be on it straight away as well because there's a lot of work to be done. There is. So yeah, I'm loving this. Look at that. Shoulders getting a bit of tan already. It's just beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a little. Oh.